Hey, what's up BPMN practitioners? In today's video, I'm going to discuss how we can use parallel multi-instance task markers for modeling in our BPMN processes. On the screen, I illustrate a simplistic cargo process in which we receive inbound shipments, process them, and then check the cargo. Pretty simple, right? Well, how could we model the task of in-processing cargo for several types of cargo that's received, such as general cargo, hazardous cargo, oversized cargo, and so on. Well, one way you might be saying is we could create a parallel gateway with several in-processing cargo tasks, um, linking the data objects to that. But as you can see, your model would get cluttered pretty quickly, and there's a better way to model this problem, and that's by using the parallel multi-instance task. On the screen, I share some, some of the main characteristics of the parallel multi-instance task marker. The key thing to remember about the multi-instance parallel task marker, it's uh, represented with three vertical lines. Um, the sequential multi-instance task marker uh, has three horizontal lines. Um, Depending on your modeling tool, uh, you right click, click on the attribute, and you can select that task. So instead of modeling a parallel gateway with several tasks, we use the parallel multi-instance task to represent the in-processing of cargo that's completed in parallel. If we examine our process, there are several types of cargo that are required to be in-processed in parallel when the shipment's received. We use the collection attribute for the data object to re represent the types of cargo, such as general cargo, hazardous cargo, outsized cargo, signature service, and so forth. That's required to be processed in parallel by the team. So there you have it, how you can model using parallel multi-instance task markers. In our previous videos, we talk about the two other types of marker that you can use, the, the loop markers and the compensation markers. I'd highly recommend you check out those other videos if you're interested in learning more. Thanks for watching.